all right so i got a long email asking eight questions so i'm trying to answer them so this person from india has attached uh, his cv okay the first question is uh, based on my cv could you confirm am i eligible for direct phd yes you have a bachelor degree and you are eligible for direct phd a phd in ireland number two actually i'm looking for predefined um, projects in clinical interventions what exceptional skills are required i'm very sorry i am a mathematician uh, so and your background is not mathematics or related so i cannot answer this question i'm sorry for that and um, for number three for advertised phds on websites should i need to be accepted by a professor before starting the application are there any fees for the applications so no no you just uh, send uh, your cv cover letter and whatever documents they ask transcripts uh, all these things to the specified email address uh, or if they asked you to apply with some uh, portal application portal then you have to apply for that and after that there will be an interview if they shortlist you for the position and there is no application fees uh, in ireland for phd as far as i know number four i have a publication uh, so in regard to your last question that you do not have to be accepted by a professor before the application if it is a advertised phd project and if it is a sort of um, they allow candidate outside ireland to apply anyway number four i have a publication but in a reputed journal would it affect my profile yes if you have publication that is a very positive thing uh, when you apply for phd position or any research position number five i have industry experience in clinical research around 2.5 years my academic research experience is mostly in wet laboratories am i still eligible for my cl eligible for my clinical research phd or masters related to work experience yes why not how should i justify my cv well whatever you have done uh, you honestly write them uh, in a nice manner you whatever uh, and uh, make some uh, nice timeline uh, uh, to make uh, attractive cv i can send you my cv if you if you like my format uh, anyway uh, so writing cv is completely on on you you have lots of templates lots of things are available online nowadays but uh, at the end of the day uh, what you have done and how you respond to the interview if they select for your interview that's all so uh, even a handwritten cv could work uh, if you have really uh, great skills and so on anyway uh, number 6 what other alternative ideas would you suggest for the best fully funded study opportunity upon your experience in ireland 2024 other alternative what do you mean by alternative i don't know but so far i understand that uh, based on your cv you have a good chance of uh, applying to some companies also there are lots of companies um, like clinical trial and these and that for example pfizer these and that that i'm not uh, good um, on searching company jobs or suggesting uh, i mean uh, giving tips for company job because i have never applied in companies but uh, you have a good chance of companies also because in ireland this kind of background is very uh, lucrative so you can try in companies as well as you can try in institutes and universities funded phd projects so i don't think uh, i don't know any other alternative so um so you can if you if you search whatever is your department you can go to the universities and go to that department you can search the professor profile and you can then uh, send email to them and uh, asking for uh, suggestions that will be much better uh, than i because i'm i'm not your my background is not your so i can suggest very objectively 
notes and how you can send an email to your professor I discussed in one of my videos also you can have a look number seven can I still be able to apply for a master's application without IELTS as a plan to take uh, 2024 October 2021 I think in Ireland uh, all the master's um, uh, application needs some IELTS uh, score and some university may uh, prefer uh, ILTS or TOEFL or what not I that you have to check with the university sort of requirements that's easy to uh, easy to know for details check my CV once I have checked your CV that's not too bad and um, and another question is Duolingo acceptable for masters in all universities honestly I have no idea you can uh, the university you want to apply go and check what scores they are uh, that will be 100 percent clearly written if they prefer ILTS if they prefer Duolingo or if they prefer TOEFL or if they prefer any of them so it's not a big deal to know whatever institute you want to apply whatever masters it's clearly written there so I hope I have answered all your questions Thank you for sending me email. If you have any more questions, you can send me email. Thank you.